Yesterday, I introduced special angles. Like, it's important for you to know what special angles are. Right? The, the simplest definition is that special angles are angles such that you don't need a calculator to determine the trigonometric ratio of that angle. Okay? So you can memorize the value of the ratio for any of the three trigonometric ratios. So at this stage, we are only going to talk about 30 degrees, 45, and 60 degrees. All right? Now, be aware that there are other special angles like 0 degrees, there's 90, there's 180, there's 270, there's 360 as well. But for now, I'll talk about 30, 45, and 60. Okay, so yesterday I used these two triangles to determine the ratios of the three trigonometric ratios for 30 degrees, 45, and 60 degrees. So I had this. Then I say, to make it easier for you to remember, okay, you may need to memorize this diagram. Okay, the way you memorize it, okay, this is the first quadrant. Have you ever heard of quadrants on a Cartesian plane? Okay, all right, don't worry about that then. So this is the y-axis, that's your x-axis. You draw an arc inside the Cartesian plane, such that the distance from the origin here up to that arc is going to be two units. Okay, generally we call it the radius, because this is the first quadrant, we have the second here, the third, and the fourth, and the four quadrants will form a, will form a circle. All right? So this is more like a quarter of a circle. So the distance from the origin to that arc there is about two units. Now that distance we generally represent it by there. We represent it by R. For now, I'll just put two here. So that's two. This is two. That's two. That's two. And this is two. Okay? So, yes. So from here to there, it will also be two units. And also from here to there, the two units both the square root of four is what? It's two. So this is the x here is the two. Right? Then the x value decreases. Now it's square root of three. Then square root of two. Square root of one, which is the one. And then zero. Now what happens is as the x values are decreasing, the y values are what? Are increasing. Right? So you can memorize this. Now, how does this work? If, I'll just show you two examples. If I want to know, say, tan 60 degrees, okay, all I have to do, okay, remember, what is tan? Tan is equal to opposite over what? Adjacent. So if you're talking about 60 degrees, this is 60 degrees, okay? So what we can do, we can construct, okay, we can construct a straight line from here all the way up to there, such that the line is perpendicular to the x-axis. If we do that, we will end up having a triangle, which is right angle. Okay? So, tan 60, which is this whole angle here. In actual fact, this whole angle here, just to clarify, this is 60 degrees. Okay, do you agree with me there? Yeah. If, if this is 60, that's for what? 60, right? So, tan is equal to opposite over what? Adjacent. So, this is your reference angle. The opposite side will be that. Now, the opposite side is equivalent to y. Because remember, y is vertical. Do you agree with me that y is vertical? So, the value of y here is square root of what? 3. And then, what's the value of x? Square root of 1. So, square root of 1 is a 1. So tan 60 here, it will be square root of what? 3 over 1, which is square root of 3. I just hope that you are seeing it. I hope you are seeing it. And I hope you memorize your three trigonometric ratios 
sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, tan theta is equal to uh, adjacent over hypotenuse, and then tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. All right? So the y value that's your opposite side, the x value that's your adjacent side throughout here. So y is the opposite. X is the adjacent. The hypotenuse will be what? Two units throughout. Okay? So you can memorize this. If you sit down and memorize, it's not that complicated. Right? So if I want to find, say, cos 30 degrees, like that, I know that cos is equal to adjacent over what? Hypotenuse. But on this diagram here, my adjacent is equal to x and my hypotenuse is what? 2. Then, if I go to cos 30, this is 30. What is my x? My, my x now my x is going to be what? Square root of 3. And my r is what? 2. So you end up having square root of 3 over what? 2. You can verify this with your calculator. Cos 30 is square root of 3 over 2. We got it already from the previous uh, page here. Cos 30 is square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so just to summarize, this diagram is just used to memorize the special angles. For, for me, because I've done this for many years, I've reached the point where I don't need this diagram, which comes naturally. Maybe to you as well, it might come naturally. You might get to a point where you can just memorize easily these trigonometric ratios without needing a what? A diagram. In my case, I, I, I don't need a diagram. You ask me what is sine 30, tan 30, cos 60, I, I can tell you straight away because of experience. But for you guys, it's your first time. But if you can memorize it as quickly as possible, that's much better. If you struggle with memorizing, then you memorize this. The good thing about this diagram is you won't need to know what is cos 30 by heart. But you just memorize it, then you can get it from this diagram. Are you following? Okay, so let's do some examples. Okay, examples. Here's a class exercise. Can I have your attention? Can you do number six? Number six. Just write class exercise. Cos 60 divided by tan 30. Sorry, cost cost thirty divided by tan thirty. Cost thirty divided by tan thirty. Find the value without using a calculator of cos 30 divided by tan 30. You must not use a calculator. Over two, tan thirty is one over square root of three. 
then divide those two and simplify. Okay, I didn't post this, but I'll post it today. That's why I realized that I didn't post it, so I just get the values from there for now. I'll, I'll send it on the yesterday. You were not here. Please take this serious because on the 4th of May you are, you are going to see questions like this. Take it serious. I don't want you to end up having an increase in heartbeat when you see the person in the sign. Yeah. Okay. Right, so you go home and carry on with that. I'll send you more questions in the PDF as well.